a drink. Slide with the guide on a funky scene. Here comes another one of those funky, funny, more money shows. A cast for laugh, for college, for bros, and sisters with twisters. For you, the looking listener, it seems you don't believe, so you believe, but I can bitch you. So put it to your short and thought, we'll make it snappy. With jokes and folks and folks to keep you happy. No need to hold your remote control. Chill. This show got soul all aboard, all aboard. The train up a chuckle, you better snuggle up, couple up, want a double up, double, yeah. It's hard to believe, but some of the best things in life are free. So fellas, grab your girl, tell her that you love her, cause that's the way you're living when you're living in living color. gentlemen here to view the body. Brother, don't he look like a well-dressed walrus? <laughs> <laughs> look here, brother. If you're referring to hot chocolate over here, you don't have to ask us twice. No! I believe in miracles. <laughs> you sex thing. Excuse me, sister, is this seat taken? I'm saving the seat for LaToya Girl, Jackson. you better not grip up on my butt. I will flavor hey, flavor hey. you. <laughs> See, you think these are LPs, but these are CDs. He's yeah. up on straight. <laughs> now, look here. Is LaToya in town, man? Because she ain't called me. Dig that. Now, look. While we got your ear, Hershey Kiss, we'd like to tell you about a little project we got for the snake woman. Look here. It's a story about a young lady growing up with a bunch of musical Negroes in Motown. Dig it. Daddy gave her a real hard time. A lot of ass whippings in the back of the Trans Am. <laughs> it's a little thing we like to call left hook. You did, left hook. I don't think LaToya would hardly be interested in that. Oh, well, look here, Sir Diddy. Kitty, I bet she don't even know Tito. Now dig that fake Lola Falana looking. Go ahead, man, don't even trip. Hey, 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 hey. Those seats are reserved for Quincy Jones. Man, now, if this is not Oba Baba Tunde, I'm a white man. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, man. Look here, is Q in the house, home stump? Because, you know, he ain't... <laughs> Just who are you? Man, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Clavel. And I am Howard Tibbs III. And we are... Funky Finger, Finger Productions. Productions. Let me give you one of my business cards. You know I'm fresh out. Howard. Bam! <laughs> now look here. Pay no attention to the syrup and stuff on the front. We just came from Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Chicken so dry we had to eat it in the rain. <laughs> you need to stop, man. But look here, speaking of Q, I got a Mod Squad project that we would like to get Quincy involved in. Now, we already got KC. Take Remember that. from the Sunshine Band, the high yellow brother used to try and pass? Well, this time, he gonna play the white boy. Now, check this out. We couldn't get a commitment from Link, but we got Vanilla to play the part. Now, we wanted TK Carter, but he got popped the other night. Say what? I thought he broke his pipe. Can we get security here? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know... Freddie Saxon was not only a fine actor, but he was a pillar of the Hollywood community. Is there anyone here would like to share a few words about Freddie? Uh, uh, <laughs> excuse me, Reverend. You know Freddie is dead. Fred is dead. No. <laughs> Are you sure you knew Freddie? Man, you better unhand me James Earl Jones Jr. <laughs> now, all y'all know that Frederico Saxon was in the process of making his last great film when we last saw now, him. Dig. We got a little taste right here. We just gonna give you taste, gotta pay for the rest. Howard! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Now, look here. We don't have a title yet, but it's a cross between the Wiz and Flatliners. You got to check this. We like to call this one a real cool way of some open viewing. Go ahead and roll it, Howard. <laughs> Rondell. Man, zoom out. Now, there we go. Man, put that eight ball down. Man. Damn. Damn. I'm trying to get my head right. Damn. 
hey, hey, hey. And you better not have ate all my damn skins up, neither. Man, come on. Here we go. Let's kick up from the top. <laughs> all right, you ready? And see it. your name. Now, look here, homie. When we get to the Emerald City, we got to get the whiz to give us a, um, uh, a brain and a heart. Now, dig that. A kidney and a liver and the whole nine yards. It's like homeboy needs it all. Oh, he needs some Jade East because he's starting to kick up like Long Beach. Man, I thought someone was frying scraps. Say what? Dang. Let's get on in there. Get a foot up in here. Here we go. Ready? All right, Homer Simpson, let's go on and do this now. Come on. All right. Now, in order to finish this movie, we're going to need some ducats. Now, we already got the first meal from Johnny Carson. Well, actually, it's from Ed McMahon. But look here, it does say that we almost are winners. Oh, my God. What have they done to my husband? And they're still straw in a suit. Yes, I am. I guess homeboy stayed in character all the way to the grave. Exactly. Here they are. Hey, man, hey, look here. There ain't no need to get physical, Kunta. <laughs> Say hello to our newest star reporter, Tina. Where is she? Why, right here. Tina, this is Clark Bent. Clark, Tina Small. Oh, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Likewise, Mr. Bent. Hey, let me get that for you. Wow. I like the view down here much better. Me too. Clark, you're drooling. Oh, again? Listen, Tina, I have to confess, I'm really attracted to you. It wouldn't work, Clark. Why not? I'm a little person, and you're a big person. Put yourself in my shoes. Well, I could try, but I don't think they'd fit. <laughs> Miss Dane, this just came off the wire. Oh, no! The Benefit Bandit ripped off another charity ball last night. All the donations have been stolen. Fourth time this month. I've got to get to that charity dance-a-thon. And don't try and stop me. Charity benefit, huh? Well, maybe this is something the handyman should have done. It's do me, you know? Hmm. Maybe I could help. I'm going to catch the Benefit Bandit. Maybe we should team up. Why not? Two superheroes are better than one. Anyways, up, up and away! Here, let me know. Up, up and away! Well, look who dropped in. The gimp and the shrimp. You talking to me? You talking to me? You must be talking to me, because I don't think you know what the gimp to wear. It was just a little joke, handyman. It's good to see you. And you too, Tiny Avenger. I hope you two have bought donations for this worthy cause. No, that's my last. Thank you. Well, since you two are here, why don't you enjoy yourselves on the dance floor? <laughs> you can find your window. If we're going to catch this creep, we better fit in. Hey, how come no one's dancing? Let's get this party started, right? Let's get this party started quickly. Go, Danny, go. Got a party over there. Oh, 
the right time, the Avenger. I'll use my handy vision and find out what's going on underneath that moo moo. <laughs> Oh, I think I knew too much juice. Stolen the door. It's been you that's been stealing all the donations. Yes, and as I, as Adora, the world's greatest dancer, until that fateful night at my benefit concert, when I tripped over the crutch and fell into the handicap seating section. <laughs> I've spent the rest of my life stealing every penny I can from the handicapped. I'm gonna make your lives ugly! You're speaking of ugly, you better put some clothes back on. <laughs> That's a handy joke. You twisted little handy twerp. Prepare to die! Tiny Avenger, let's get busy! No job's too large for the Tiny Avenger! <laughs> <laughs> Same handy time, same handy channel for the handy conclusion. <laughs>